system. So we are in lab, class lab 11. We're configuring file access. We all know what file access means, right? Meaning we want to restrict file access. But if you notice, we have a marketing department who wants to share files. And we have two users by name, ED and Adam. And we're asked to create a, a marketing folder. We should share that marketing folder for everyone. We also were asked to configure a file permission as well. And after that file permission is set up, we should log in and try to access that file permission by using ED and Adam. Are we together? OK, let's try to do that. Flora, uh, currently you don't have a drive E, right? OK, I actually have a drive E, but I need to make a drive E. So I can convert this D to E. Of course, you all know how to do that, right? So let's go to the, uh, the disk management. We'll go to disk management. So um, we need to convert. We need to change letters, right? This is D, and this is uh, E. Where's the E? Uh, which one is taking my E? Let me see. Oh, uh, the CD. Okay, which is which will be this? Uh, no, this is F. Okay, how many CDs do I have there? Okay, that's it there. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say change drive later. Are we together? I'm just going to come here and say change. I'm going to assign it maybe O. It's fine. I've given it an O. Let's see. Let me refresh. OK, that's the O. So the one that is having my D, I can change it to E. I hope it has not given somebody E already by virtue of that, OK? So let me go to my simple volume. That's my simple volume D. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say change drive later. I'm going to click change. Um, is not valuable. Is that not correct? So I'm going to click OK. Continue. I think I'm fine now. And everything is OK. So I have an E drive. Is that not correct? OK, you can see everything also came up as well, so it's fine. OK, I have an E drive. I'll open it. So I'm asked to create a folder called lab files. So let's go in and we'll create a folder called lab files. OK, I'm going to open lab files. Right click. I'll create a folder called MOD9. MOD09. It's MOD09. Now, on that MOD09, I have to create another folder called uh, Marketing. So I'll call this folder Marketing. OK, Marketing folder is created. OK, can you open Marketing folder and try to create content inside, like um, documents? Let's go to New, let's say, Text Documents. Let's say Sales Reports. You can open sales reports. You can type computers, mouse, and keyboards, um, SSD drives, HDD drives. What else again do you have on the computer components? Printers. What else again? LCD screens. What else again? What else again? DVD. ROM. What else? External. HDD drives. What else again? So we can come in and file and click save. And that's it. OK. So we have a file content already saved on marketing. Now, let's go back to MOD9. We are asked to share the folder for everyone. And it says on tax 2, share the marketing folder so that everyone can watch. 
read it. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to share with specific people. And on the share with specific people, I'm going to click on what? Everyone. Or on the other hand, you can right click. You go to property. You go to sharing. You can come here and say share this folder. It will also bring the same what? Wizard. Or you can come in here and say advanced sharing. Share this folder. Permission. Everyone can what? Read. You click OK. Apply. OK. And that is it. So you can see the URL path. It takes automatically your path of your PC. Did you see there? He's not taking the path of LabFi's MOD. Do you notice? Because LabFi's is not shared. MOD is not shared. What is shared? Marketing. So on the network, it becomes the name of your computer and what? Marketing. Are we together? So I'm going to click close. Now, the next step I'm going to talk about is uh, configuring the file permission. OK. OK, let's say, for example, um, according to tax theory, it says we should configure the marketing folder so that marketing security group, so we have a group called marketing. Marketing security group has modified permission. So let's change the names. Instead of, calling, instead of us calling them ED and ADA, let's say, um, let's, let's, let's check if we have existing users. Can we go to our users and groups? Let's go to... Um, Computer management, uh, local users and groups. So let's look for users. Okay, I have two users here. I have John, I have John Smith and Peter James. Do you guys still have John Smith and Peter James? I believe we used that during our, during our lab practicals, right? If you don't have John Smith and Peter James, you can create them, it's fine. Or you can create any user. But we're going to make John Smith a member of marketing security group. Why Peter James? We're just going to leave Peter James like that. 